The Lincoln Highway spans 3,300 miles across America, from New York's Times Square to Lincoln Park in San Francisco. In Iowa, it's over 300 miles along what is now known as Highway 30. Well, here in Clinton County, there's part of the original Lincoln Highway that's no longer in use, but you can actually get out and walk down the old original road. The original bridge is called a Pony Trust style bridge. It was built over Calamus Creek in 1921. It's located between Wheatland and Calamus. To the west, there's a short stretch of the original road. It doesn't go anywhere, but you can drive for a short distance. In Loudoun, the Lincoln Hotel hosted early travelers on the Lincoln Highway. It's open, still receiving travelers. The Lincoln Highway goes through Mount Vernon and its downtown shops. It goes on past stately Cornell College. One early food stop along the Lincoln Highway was the Lighthouse Inn in Cedar Rapids. There were some colorful characters here. Al Capone had a rule. When things got a little hot in Chicago, he'd take off for parts unknown. But the main criteria, it had to be out, out, but it had to be a paved road. John Dillinger laid his gun on the table and it went off. And the bullet hole, the bullet went through the, through the wall. And the walls then, there was no insulation in them, so it went clear through. Here at the lighthouse, they're known for their ribs and for their prime rib, a 12 ounce prime rib steak. On into Benton County, there's Youngville Cafe. This historic stop was opened way back when by the Wheeler family who farmed nearby. Plans are for this cafe to reopen next year. The Lincoln Cafe in Belle Plaine first opened in 1928. It's been open off and on. Bilbara chicken is actually pretty, pretty famous. We have to keep it twice a week as special because people really uh, like that and uh, the all-you-can-eat walleye. I'm heading up here at breakfast with the omelet. Driving west along the Lincoln Highway, this drive follows the Iowa River Valley. In Tama, a stop at the 1914 Lincoln Highway Bridge. It was built for early travelers over Mud Creek. Along the way, Lincoln Highway markers, some 3,000 nationwide, are in the memory of Abraham Lincoln. Here, the King Tower Cafe is no longer open. Highway 30 bypassed Tama, directing hungry travelers elsewhere. To the west, the Lincoln Highway went into Marshalltown. Travelers could eat at Taylor's Made Right. It opened in 1928. Well, here at Taylor's Made Right in Marshalltown, you can get the Made Right, the loose meat sandwich. It comes two ways, either wet or dry, based on how much flavor or grease you want on it. And the Lincoln Highway made it to Cola, where Nyland Reed Corner can take you back in time with an old service station, a motel, and Nyland Family Cafe from the 1930s. Love the people that we know that come in and the people we meet. Um, there's a lot of people that will come in and point out pictures, saying that was their aunt or their grandma, and the picture on the wall. Um, we've had a lot of the Nyland family come in. That's been fun to meet them. Well, here at Nyland Cafe, one of their specialties is freshly hand breaded tenderloin. Mm. For those who set out to discover our past on the Lincoln Highway, there's plenty to see and eat. On the Lincoln Highway in Iowa, Roger Riley, WHO 13 News.